I started using the app a week ago and it's just fine. How fine is it? Does it save my time and is it worth using? All in this video, keep watching. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and before getting to the video, if you want to get some discount, then make sure to check out the discount link in the description below. Upwork can summarize an article for you by reducing up to 80 to 85% of the content and then even create AI notes for you to save and share. And there's a recently added feature which is cherry on the top. Come take a look at the apps and its features. First of all, you can install the application from the given link in the description for free. I'm reading an article now for which I will need 11 minutes, but summon the extension and boom, it's been reduced by 83% within 2 seconds. But that's not all, I just don't want to read, but store and edit these notes for further sharing. So I can log into my account and add the article to my library, which then I can access from my app dashboard. After login, we get to the dashboard or what is called a library. You can see my previous reads here, some of which I've deleted like this. I like that the UI UX is very simple, effective and minimal. Not bombarding us with unnecessary features. After all, productivity comes when we simplify and minimize. Next, I'll be adding a doc which can be uploaded as a PDF, linked as an article or even I can copy and paste something here. Not just one, but you can give a project name to simultaneously add up to 10 docs and I'm choosing one for now. Here, all the text is listed nicely and in well-readable format. On the right, you can see that my text has been reduced by 83%. The notes are clubbed in short paragraphs. If I hover mouse on it, it highlights the area covered for the generated notes. Then I can personalize the notes. Suppose I don't want this example here. Also keep a note for my teammates to look at. But hey, I didn't want the example to completely vanish. So I can either add a comment from here or here. Even adding a photo using attachment features and then shuffling into notes is nice, which then can be filtered from here. Finished. Let's come towards the applied and keyword section. Using applied, I can immediately highlight important sections of the whole article to go through. Using keywords, I can easily remember the article in chunks. After finally editing my title to what I like, I'm ready to export the summary. The AI here can recite it for me or I can export it as a PDF or share via a link. Also send it directly over mail to 5 people. For comfort, there are options to change fonts, size and dark mode as well. Done with the export, back to the library page which makes sense now. Here you can see these three tags, new, summary and draft. Draft means I've done some work but not summarized the project. Summary tag is given to one which are summarized already. Also I can give additional tags to all the projects like this. Suppose to my last article, I can set where it came from and what the article focuses on. Using all these and filter options, I can easily summon the required article from hundreds. There's also a search feature which can search specific article through its headline. This was Upward. Sweet, simple, clean and neat. You have seen its power and features. It was just a small article but I want to check out something else. I've got a 23 page study which I need to understand before my next hour meeting. Even reducing to 90% would not help me. There comes a powerful tool handy. This is a feature that was added recently. The AI Copilot. I can ask it any question and it will do as said. This is astounding. Not just this, I can add any conversation to the comments as well. Even explaining about this app is giving me excitement right now. With the level of upgrades the team puts through each month, I can't even imagine how superb this app would be in coming months. But there are also some things I would like to suggest the team which can be improved. The library page is not dynamic. Suppose I add anything from the extension to library, I have to refresh the app to get the new article. However, while deleting, there is no such issue. Usually on the paid content website, right now while recording of this video, the summarizer might not work well 
URL and so I have to manually copy the content and paste it on the dashboard which is acceptable. I did have a chat with their support team and realized that they were amazing. I put up 2-3 queries over the chat and within 24 hours my queries were resolved. Nan was also happy to help to the extent of hopping onto a Zoom call and checking if everything was okay. After all, it's time to move towards pricing. The Chrome extension is free to use but of course more than summarizing it's important for us to store share and edit the knowledge so to fully utilize the platform there is a subscription fee of 12.5 dollars per month on a yearly plan but worry not you can check the link in the description which will give you flat 20 percent discount on any plan you choose also there is a special pricing of six dollars only for students wanting to join overall the app is nice and amazing and i would be more than happy to pay ten dollars given their service value and ease it creates that's it from my side hope you guys found this video helpful now if you are looking for an awesome calendar app to schedule your meetings make sure to check this video right here and you can also watch my recent video from here like share subscribe stay safe bye bye